And this is the one that really needs to be looked at hard, which is Oswego. It's a very big play. It goes, you know, geologically, it goes over to, to Kingfisher, which is where it's being uh, uh, pursued uh, uh, successfully. So again, you all are here. Here's this main reef right here. Here's what we call back reef. We're, we're actually pursuing it in the main reef right now in Fargo, and it looks kind of interesting, and we're gonna go forward with that, I think. Um, I don't want to worry about that right yet, but this is the zooming in, okay? So here's where you all are. That's originally the Fort Supply area. Here's what it looks like in today's environment. So it's essentially, here's the, here's the reef. This is down in Belize, by the way. Here's the rain reef. This is back in Pennsylvania time. Here's the reef down in Belize. Here's the back part of the reef, which is right here, and these are the islands. There's three parts of this play. This is where Fargo <laughs> is. This would be sort of where uh, Tangier is, okay? And this is where you all are, okay? So there's three parts of this system that could be potential. We think the islands are most perspective because it's a trap. And the problem with this, as you said earlier, the water. And the way that you have less water is, is you have a defined trap, which I'll show you in a minute, where you take the original play that had water in it, the oil's generated, it pushes the water out, and it gets trapped there. And that's why you have certain areas that make a lot of oil and less water, because of good trap.